another day another problem so let's solve it hello guys i hope you are all doing well today in this video we're gonna solve the problem minimum size subarray sum so let's get started by reading the problem given an array of positive integers nums and a positive integers target return the minimum length of a subarray whose sums is greater than or equal to the target if there is no such subarray return zero instead so the problem asks us to find the minimum size subarray and a given array nums such that the sum of its element is greater than or equal to a given number of targets. So to solve this problem, we're going to use a sliding window technique. First, let me explain to you what a sliding window means by giving an example. Imagine that you have a row of books and you want to find the one that's the biggest. To do this, you use a sliding window. First, you will pick a size for your window. This is like the size then how many books you want to look at once next you will put the first book in your window and compare it to all the other books in the window the biggest one is one you are looking for then you will slide the window one book to the right this means that you will take the first book of the win out of the window and add the next book to the end of the window you will compare all the books in the window again and find the biggest one then you will keep sliding the window to the right until you have looked at all the books then you will have a less of biggest books you have found in each window so now that you have a clear picture of how the sliding window technique work let me show you how we're gonna solve this problem using this technique let's First, say we have a list of numbers and you want to find the smallest group of numbers that adds up to a certain number the first thing we're gonna do is to take a window of numbers from the list a window is a group of numbers that are next to each other in the list for example we take two and three we check the sum of the number in the window two plus three is five if the sum of the number in the window is less than the number we're looking for means seven we stop to try and to make the window smaller and move on to the next group of numbers mean we add a number Number to the window so here the window we're gonna have two and three and one and we sum up them so here the total is still smaller means we need to expand the window so we add the next number to the window so the total here is eight means the current sum of the number inside the window is bigger than the target so here we need to make the window smaller by removing the first number inside the window and checking again if the total is equal to the target or bigger so here the total after deleting the first number is three plus one plus 2 which equal to 6 and 6 is smaller than target so we need to make the window bigger by adding number at the end so here the sum is equal to 3 plus 1 plus 2 plus 4 which is 10 and 10 is bigger than the target 7 means we need to make the window smaller again by eliminating the first number inside the window after eliminating the first number inside the window the total is 7 which equal to the target so here we need to store the length of those number because it's equal to the target and we continue by making the window smaller again and check if we can find another small length of numbers that gonna equal to the target so here the total is six mean is smaller than the target we make the window larger by adding the next number so the total gonna be nine which is bigger than the target seven so we make the window smaller again check the sum if it's equal to the target so here is the sum is seven and the target is seven and the length is two because we only use it two numbers and the question is that we need to find the smallest length of numbers that give us the target the last time was it was four numbers then that we add to give us seven and here is just two numbers that we add to give us seven so we return the length two so let's look at the code explanation the first thing we're gonna do is to initialize a variable called mean length to keep track of the minimum length of the subarray then we declare a variable called left to be equal to zero to keep track of the left side and the sliding window and we initialize a current sum variable to keep track of the sum of the element inside the window then we start iterating throughout the list of nums and for each iteration we add the number to the current sum next we will have a while loop that continue as long as the current sum is larger or bigger than the target we update the mean length to be the minimum of the previous mean length and the current length of the current sub array and then we subtract the number at the left position from the current sum and increment the left by one finally we return the minimum length if it's not equal to infinity else we return zero
So for the time complexity is gonna be O of n, where n is the length of the list. This is because we need to make one pass throughout the list to find the smallest group of numbers that adds up at least to the target number. And for the space complexity is O of 1 because we only need a fixed amount of space to store the window of numbers and some variables to keep track of the size of the smallest group we found so far. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.